Lieutenant Ronald Verhelst of the Belgian Army prepares for his day at work. He's heading out to visit a family in Sochenitsa, a Serb community in the north of Kosovo. NATO's K-4 mission needs to work closely with the local population. For this reason, K-4 created liaison monitoring teams, known as LMTs, whose job it is to go out into the Kosovan communities and take the pulse of Kosovo. We are going to meet a family whose son is going to have his marriage uh, beginning of August. And I will try to find out a little bit how uh, the arrangements and uh, things are done over here. We already met them uh, twice and they're really nice, so uh, we try to keep some families uh, over all the region as a, a little bit of fixed, uh, fixed appointment. Taking tea with the family might seem like a fairly insignificant event, but it's crucial to building up relationships, establishing trust where before there might have been suspicion. The relationship was a bit tense, a bit more tense. There was less cooperation and our opinion of them was different, and perhaps theirs of us, because of the widespread propaganda. In my opinion, the team is doing a great job, 100%, because I can see them everywhere, always on the move. Not only do you see them, but you can see they're busy. The work of the LMTs all over Kosovo gives K4 a profile in the community that allows them to build up mutual trust. Well, it was really interesting. Uh, we learned about something about the customs over here, uh, about the wedding parties, and they're really, uh, it's really great because they're having uh, 550 uh, people invited. So it's really big uh, in comparison of uh, in Belgium, for example. So uh, and we're already been, uh, we've also been invited to the to the wedding. So it's really great. Meanwhile, to the south in the town of Malashevo, a German team is working with this Albanian community in the same way. Here they've rented a property in the town to better interact with the locals. Before the May, we uh, hadn't some place where we uh, could collect our information. We had to, to drive to the, to the people, so we have to meet in a restaurant, in a bar, in a small coffee and so on. But right now, since uh, 24th of uh, May, we have a field house. This field house is a, a platform for our work. It's my task to stay in contact with our VIPs, I would say, and uh, to exchange information about the ongoing processes, about the ongoing projects they uh, launched here in Mon uh, Malishev. And Actually, it's a very, very friendly atmosphere to stay in contact, to have talks with him. For the deputy mayor of Malishevo, having the team in the town has seen the realisation of all kinds of projects. There are two schools we've built together, and that's the school in the village of Gergenkat, as well as with the school in Temekain too. These are major projects as far as we're concerned, because as a municipality, we wouldn't have been able to build them on our own. We've had great cooperation with the LMTs since they arrived here, and exceptionally good cooperation with Commander Kruger, who's here in Malishevo, and who I think feels as if Malishevo is his, just like we feel he's one of ours. K4 works across Kosovo to understand the needs of the people and bring security to their communities. The liaison monitoring teams are the face of the force, building trust and showing the value of simply listening. This is David Heathfield for NATO Channel in Kosovo.